David, welcome to Bolton Wanderers. How pleased are you to have been appointed along with Keith? Absolutely delighted. You know, um, probably never been as excited from from an opportunity. You know, in my life, um, you always hope that one day you can you can be a part of managing your your hometown club. You you live in that hope. You drive past this stadium. You know, and uh, I used to go and, and watch uh, the Wanderers at, at the Burnden, and uh, you know that was a fantastic atmosphere. And, We've had some brilliant managers come through, but honestly, to to keep going past the stadium and understanding what it would mean one day to hopefully, you know, become part of that and um, and get it back to where it belongs is something that it's it's an honour, it's a privilege. Uh, my family's proud. Uh, just wish my dad were here to maybe sharing it, you know, but he's not, and uh, and he's guiding me on on that journey. But certainly, there's no prouder man than, than myself. Uh, when we when we got the call Saturday to say that we've we've got the we've got the job and uh, and can you you know go to work and, and help us now get out of the, the situation we're in uh, it was just pure excitement energy enthusiasm um, and passion to, to get to get started in work yeah does the fact both yourself and uh, and Keith are from Bolton does that make you even prouder it, it does but I think it's 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 the knowledge it's that it's that. You know, every Bolton fan I've ever spoke to over the last 30 years, and you know, I've been in the area all my life and socialised in the area. You know, when you go out, all we ever used to talk about was football. You know, and that cross and that energy and, and the Fab Four under under Bruce, and um, you know, and you look at Sam's team and the quality that you know he brought to the football club, and what what Sam did. You know, I remember when he got the the long term contract, and I thought, wow, brilliant, um, and. Them's the, the memories and the, that I've had as a, as a Bolton supporter, but still working in football, and um, you know, them are the times that you know you draw on, and uh, and I, I've got opportunity to be part of Bolton's history, and and I think that's what's missing in the town, the fact that you know Bolton towns, Bolton, Bolton supporters, they're not talking about the football, they're talking about the off-field problems, they're talking about the administration, the ownership, you know, and we don't we don't share them. The moments, whether it's in a pub or a restaurant or just out socially, we don't show the moments of, of of the football, the style, the play, uh, the passion, the tackles. We don't we don't talk like that as Boltonians anymore, and uh, and that's something that myself and Keith spoke a long time about. You know, making sure that we we bring that back to the town and and, and our stadium. What can you tell us about your working relationship with Keith? Listen, I you know. Pure, pure support. Um, what it, what he's done for me personally, um, you know, in my own life, um, and the support he's given me at, at difficult times. Um, the way we've we've always thought the same. You know, we've, we've been we've been separated for for a few years now. Um, you know, and 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 I think that's helped because you go away and you learn different things. You, you learn new ideas. You go and, and get a good. Um, network of people, different people. I've travelled down to um, Swindon, managed them, gone over, had quite a bit of a stint in Yorkshire, um, and met some brilliant people on that journey. So, if I'm being honest, I was quite northwest sort of centric and, and based in, in the northwest. But by going out and exploring, I've made some fantastic contacts, and whether that's agents or football people, and you know, down south, um, it really helped me um, sort of guide where I wanted to go but what you do then when you come together is, is you bring them ideas you bring them uh, that knowledge and, and that ex experience to the table but we've never thought any different you know we've always thought the same we've got a certain way that we've always wanted to play um, we manage like we, we parent you know we'll, we'll give the players the ultimate support uh, as long as they give us everything on the training ground as long, as long as they give everything as people, as long as they commit to what we want them to do day in, day out, and how they want to live their lives and, and become totally obsessed with you know, making Bolton better, then uh, we support them with everything, like you would your child. You know, If you see them trying, if you see them giving you everything, then you support them to, 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 the, to the fullest degree. And that's probably where we've both you know, had equal success. In, in going away and, and managing like that, but you know, it just it felt right. Uh, we were both out of the work, and we've, we've chatted about this for a long time. Uh, then the opportunity come up, and um, we can now you know work together um, and, and and create you know 
what we did at, at Rochdale, which was we built something absolutely brilliant at Rochdale um, that, that I'm still proud of to this day. Looking ahead at the challenge this season, I'm sure it, it, we, we know it's a massive one, but I'm sure you're looking forward to get stuck into that. Without a doubt, you know that that didn't that didn't scare us. You know we uh, we met our. Uh, our owners and uh, completely blown away, absolutely blown away, you know, and, and I've been in a room with some great people, um, Sharon, uh, Michael, uh, the vision that they set out, the steel that they showed, the, the care that they had for people, the care that they had for the football club, the pursuit of, of, of this football club, you know, that's the biggest thing for me to, to stay around and, and keep uh, having a determination and persistence to get the club most people probably would have walked away, um, but they didn't, and they kept driving it through. And you can see why, you know, and you can see the people that every one of us at Bolton Wanderers is going to be working for. That was a, another attraction because you know you you want you want top owners um, that support you. But again, you know, we're, we're under no illusion. There's a, a, a brilliant business plan in place um, to so, so that the, the club doesn't get in the trouble that it's got into in the past and. Uh, I think when it, when the decision come down to it, uh, certainly, you know, Keith's experience and my experience um, combined was something that um, you know appealed to, to the new owners. Nine players brought in yesterday, much needed transfer activity. I'm guessing it's pleasing to to have got those lads in. Yeah, you know, it was. You're looking at you've got to probably do six months, uh, six months work within. Probably a two stroke three day window because what we'd already done um, is, is set out to work. Listen, we just we just hoped, we prayed, we guessed we might get the job and we, we set to work. As soon as we found out that we had an opportunity to go for an interview, uh, it was on the phones. And it was a strange one because people were saying, What are you asking about your place for? Because you've not even got a job yet, you know. Um, but we, we, we went about our work, um, which prepared us for the interview. Um, and, and we made that quite clear that recruitment was paramount, you know, um, the, the kids here are, are the young men, you know, that have grown into young men in a short period of time, they need some help, you know, physically, mentally, you know, a great club is built on, on a youth, on an enthusiasm, but on guidance, you know, and guiding a group of men, um, a group of young men, you need the right people and that was that was something big from from the outset that we had to get the right people in um, you know to to make sure the squad's balanced and, and we knew we had the, the young kids that had done so so well um, but they needed help and support and, and that's what we've been able to do we've brought some experience in we've brought energy in we've brought unpredictability in and um, you know and, and some real good characters and, and that will stand us in in great stead over the next period we're obviously going to need a bit of luck for the rest of the season. We're also going to need the players running through brick walls. What are we going to need from the supporters? Well, it's been the most difficult time in, in Bolton's history, you know, and um, the supporters, you, you can see from, from nearly losing the football club, you know, I, I watched it intently and you watched every supporter, the hurt, um, how, it, how it felt uh, to potentially lose a football club, what it meant to the community. So they've shown, they've shown their fight, they've shown the resilience of, of Bolton, they've shown what it's meant to them, and, and they always do. Um, it, and it must have been difficult, you know, um, because it, they didn't know what was going on, you know, and, uh, and our support didn't know what was going on. And I think that's the hardest part, but now you can understand through, you know, from a confidentiality side why our, our new owners couldn't. Uh, divulge the information because it's it's so um, it's so confidential that information because if you get it wrong the deal might have not gone through um, but like I said the persistence shown by our owners uh, will need that will need that spirit that they've always shown um, but we it, it's got to be connected we've got to the, the team's going to connect with with the town we've got to connect that team we've got to make it one of the fittest teams in the league um, We've got to show that it, it wants to run for the town, but it also wants to run for each other and wants to run for, you know, Ilya and myself. And, and we've always been good at that. And that's a formula that we've always been, been able to create, whether together or as, um, or, or as a separate entity. Um, and that'll be no different. You know, we've always had that, been able to grab that connection. And that's what we're going to have to do 
at this football club more than more than ever because I know what Bolton fans want to see. They want to, you know, the team they want to see, uh, the style of play they want to see, and it'll take time. There's no doubt about that. There's no quick fix. We've we've recruited a lot of players from um, from different training plans, from different training programs. We've recruited players uh, logistically from geographically all over, uh, all around the country. You know, so it, it's it was a difficult recruitment uh, drive, and and now once we've understood where they are physically, we've got to make sure that we build the plan in possession, out of possession. We make them stronger physically. Um, and we galvanise a group of players who's coming together for the first time. You know, first time will be the first day that they all train together. We've got to spend that time with each other, uh, knowing each other. There'll be there'll be coaching, um, there'll be coaching connections, but also natural connections. You know, that, that that I love seeing develop. That's that's one thing you miss. You know, not being in football, you you miss that day to day involvement with players, going home, talking about the training, talking about the connections, talking about people. Improving people, making people better, and we've not, we've not had that, and, and that I miss that. That's that's one thing I've really missed, and and I've, I've missed not, you know, not not spending that sort of time with Illy. Do you know what I mean? We we almost lived together 24/7 um, for for the six seven years we were together at Rochdale. Um, I had a, a phenomenal um, assistant manager in Ben Futcher at Mansfield, and and I love working at Mansfield. It was a brilliant. Experience for me. I uh, loved the supporters connected with the club. Loved everyone there, and it was a right club for me. An hard-working town, um, you know. But this is a, it's just a challenge that I absolutely couldn't couldn't turn down. It was something that I've wanted a long time in my life, you know.